So something has come up a few times in my adventures in Fusion where I have a tracker, I'm tracking the motion of something, and I just want to use either the X axis or the Y axis and, you know, keep something level with other things, but not move it back and forth or the other way around. And there isn't like a little convenient checkbox to just use the X axis or the Y axis. So here's how to use just one axis of a tracker. Ooh, this is advanced, baby. All right, so let's do a basic track. I'm gonna track the movement of this little buddy here on these mountains. Let's say we want to stick something to it, let's bring up a regular tracker, and we'll put this tracker right over here, and I'll track this forwards and track it backwards. Okay, so now we have our tracker following the motion of whatever we wanna track. And normally what you would do is do something like grab your text or whatever you want to track to the image, and you could select your tracker and go up to operation, and under operation, we could say match move. And that's going to put this text over our image and it's going to follow the motion, okay? Pretty simple stuff. But let's say for whatever reason, we want this to only take the motion left and right or only take the motion up and down. There isn't really a way to make it do that. So we gotta be a little bit tricky. Now this can be a little bit intimidating, but it's not really that hard. Let's take this text and merge it over our image I can just take this tracker out of here because we aren't going to really use it. And now we just have the text over the image and it's not tracked at all. It's just slipping all over the place. But this time, let's maybe make a transform node after our text. And now let's take the center of this transform node and I'm going to right click and go down to expression. And this is where we can put a little line of code to kind of control where our center is. And this center that has an X and a Y, this is a point. So by default, it's written as point parentheses 0 0.5 0 0.5. If we were to change this to 0.5 comma one, that's going to change our Y value to one. So it's X comma Y. So what we can do is replace either of these with an expression or a code or whatever we want to do. And we can link it to any value ever basically. So what we want to do is find the name of our tracker, which is just called tracker one. And we're going to use a property from tracker one. And so here where it says 0.5, uh, let's just leave that at 0.5. Let's just use the Y axis and I'm going to type in some code. Now this is, this is pretty crazy, but it's tracker one. We're going to make sure to capitalize tracker and then dot, which means that we're going to use a property of tracker one and we're going to use unsteady position. It's like that unsteady position, but we're not going to use unsteady position itself. We're going to use dot Y. So what this is doing is it's grabbing tracker one and it's grabbing the property unsteady position and it's grabbing the property from that just the y property so if i click off of this what it's going to do is change this y to something and as we play this back we'll notice that this moves up and down with our footage but it doesn't move left and right it's slipping left and right but it is perfectly tracked up and down you'll see that the distance between this m and this little point here always stays the same so we're just using the y coordinates from that point we could also do the same thing with X. So let's just say first argument here is dot X. Got to make sure to capitalize that X and then comma 0.5. And that'll do the opposite. Click off of that. And that will just use left and right, but it won't worry about moving it up and down. See, this bounces all over the place, but it's at the exact same place left and right compared to these mountains. Okay. So you can do all kinds of fancy things like that, where you grab just a property from any of the nodes in this comp. This is especially helpful if you have done any kind of coding or game development or, you know, programming. It's really, really simple to take those skills and put them in here. If you haven't done anything with code, this might be a little bit more of a learning curve, but I promise you don't have to get a lot more complicated than this. In fact, if we wanted to, we could just take away this point here and just say tracker.unsteadyposition like that and click off of it. And what that would do is set the center to whatever the tracker unsteady position is, which is just going to follow this tracker point, just like that. So now that's the same as applying a match move, is just connecting this transform to the unsteady position. Here's something else we can do that's really cool. Let's say we wanna stabilize this. I can just grab a transform node. I'll just put this in between here. And we can stabilize this footage just using a transform node and kind of a similar thing. So we'll take this center, right click and say expression, and we'll just say tracker one dot steady position like that. And now what this will do is this will stabilize our footage based on this point right here. It's gonna leave this point right where it's at and everything else is going to move relative to it. So you can see this kind of moving around. This is the exact same thing as stabilizing footage. It's just a way to kind of do this on your own. And again, you can take the same thing and we'll just say point and we'll say steady position X comma space 
five and in our parentheses like that. And now we're just going to steady this on one axis. So we're just steadying this on the X axis and we're not worrying about the Y axis at all. See, this always stays under by mouse on the X axis, but on the Y axis, it moves up and down. Pretty cool. And any kind of algebra or math that you know, you can apply to this kind of stuff and get some really cool results. So there's a little advanced tip for you in Fusion. If you're just getting into Fusion and you're like, what does any of this even mean? Well, we have a training course on Fusion that's available right now. It goes through all the basics of how to do some awesome stuff in Fusion. We touch a little bit on expressions in the advanced course, but hey, if you want a little bit more about expressions and like coding kind of things inside of Fusion, let me know and maybe we'll make a couple more advanced tutorials like that. That'd be nice, you know, for all you sick weirdos that are, into typing things in, like coding and such. Maybe you, you know, that's, that's, that's pretty, you know, I don't, it makes me talk like this sometimes. 